On Monday, July the 9th, the appeals court ruled that Dancehall Powerhouse, Vibes Cartel and his co-convicts have the right to enter fresh evidence and agreed to take another look into the details of a child that found Cartel, Sean Storm, Kahira Jones and Andre St. John guilty of murder in 2014. All four have been languishing behind bars for nearly seven years and may have a glimmer of hope with the new ruling. In this video, I will go back in time to reflect just how this talented but controversial dancehall DJ found himself in his current predicament. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Born on January 7, 1976, Adija Azim Palmer is the product of working class parents who made the community of Waterford in Portmore, St. Catherine, their home. He attended the Calabar High School in St. Andrew before dropping out to pursue his dream of becoming an entertainer. Starting out with the moniker Adi Bantan, a young Vibes Cartel released his first single, Love Fatuman, at the age of 17. Cartel steadily rose through the ranks and caught the attention of dancehall heavyweight Bounty Killer, who incorporated him into his alliance crew. While there, Vibes Cartel's talent for penning hits came to the fore as he was the main writer for Bounty Killer and other members of the Alliance. His rivalry with Alliance team member Mavado and a falling out with Bounty Killer saw the DJ beating an exit from the Alliance to work on building his own Gaza Empire. Things took a turn for the worse after the rivalry spilled over into the streets and a bitter feud dubbed the Gully Gaza feud erupted between gangs from the communities of Big Yard and Cassava Peace on Manning's Hill Road in Kingston, resulting in several shootings and injuries. The violence even spread to schools and prompted the intervention of Prime Minister Bruce Golding and high-ranking members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, who warned both men to quit the fighting or face the consequences. After his departure from the ranks of the Alliance, Vice Cartel rose to become Dan Sahl's leading light the self-proclaimed teacher and at the same time built his commercial empire which included his own record label line of shoes cake soaps and alcohol in september of 2011 the dj was arrested after cops from the now retired deputy superintendent cornwall bigger ford led flying squad corralled a hotel in new kingston and took the entertainer who was in a room with a female companion into custody he was slapped with the 2011 murder of Gregory Park strongman, Barrington Bossy Bryan, and his former crony Clive Lizard Williams. However, the charges in the Bryan murder were dropped after the prosecution failed to make a case against the DJ. His troubles, though, had just begun after he was remanded in custody as the prosecution built a case against him for his part in Lizard's demise. He had already spent more than a year in jail when in November of 2013, the murder case against Cartel and his four co-accused began. It would go down in history as the longest murder trial ever to take place in Jamaica, lasting 65 days. Damning evidence was given by star prosecution witness Leonard Chow, OCW, whose sister bore a child for Sean, Sean Storm Campbell. Chow claimed he was taken to Cartel's Kirk Avenue home in Avondale by Campbell and was present when Lizard was being mauled to death. Chow claimed that he was next in line but escaped with his life after he managed to scale a high metal gate and scamper towards Manning's Hill Road where he hailed a taxi but not before assisting Cartel to the hospital after the DJ was bitten by his own pit bull. Chow gave evidence that the beatings and subsequent death were ordered by a cartel who was angered that two firearms he had handed over to himself and Lizard for safekeeping had gone missing. The court was told that the code name for guns were shoes. Evidence was also given by police and writing experts, executives from the telecommunications companies and police investigators. Several voice note recordings, video footage and text messages were also handed into evidence by the prosecution. The defense argued that their clients were not being given a fair trial due to the fact that Cho gave two different times when he arrived at the Kirk Avenue premises. They asserted that the police had tampered with evidence and left cellular phones which were seized from cartel unsupervised and used them to make phone calls. William's sister also appeared in court and tearfully testified that her brother and the accused men were friends and that his loved ones were never given the privilege of giving him a decent funeral as his body has never been found. Cartel's sister who was a vice principal of a secondary school at the time also gave character reference on behalf of her brother.
Vive Skykel himself, in an unsworn statement from the dock, pleaded his innocence and asked Justice Lennox Campbell, members of the panel of jurors, and the general public to separate the image of Vive Skykel from Adicha Palmer. The accused men were found guilty and were remanded for a sentencing. However, before justice could be handed down, news broke that a member of the 12-member jury panel had attempted to bribe a fellow juror in a bid to sway the verdict in the accused men's favor. That juror was arrested and charged for attempting to pervert the course of justice. Cartel on April the 3rd, 2014 was sentenced to life in prison and told that he would not be eligible for parole until 35 years had elapsed. His co-convicts were also sentenced to life in prison but were told that they would be eligible for parole after serving 30 years and 25 years respectively. The guilty verdict was welcomed by the prosecution but was met with anger and dismay by the dancehall faithful who were adamant that Cartel was being targeted unfairly and called for him to be released. In the aftermath of the sentencing, police went to cartel stomping ground of Waterford in Portmore, St. Catherine and painted over murals of the entertainer. It is alleged that two journalists also received death threats for their role in the coverage of the historic trial. Vice Cartel has been incarcerated for more than six years, but imprisonment has not dented his growing popularity in the dancehall world, and he continues to be hailed as the ruler of the DJ idiom. This video was made possible through the continued generosity of my patrons. To become a patron, follow the link in the description below. Teach them! Hey, yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.